There is no other you like you. No one has your eyes or your thoughts because you are one of a kind and we created John Hopkins Health Plans. Each of us has a voice that is completely unique. Shouldn't your health plan be just as special? This is Teachable Moments with April podcast, and you guessed it, I'm your host, April. If you're a returning listener and a part of the Teachable Moments with April podcast family, welcome back. For those who are checking me out for the first time, well, hello and welcome. To everyone listening, be encouraged and look for the Teachable Moments that are all around us. Enjoy. Contents from Finding Peace Through Prayer by Unity Ministries. Today we're going to talk about Finding Peace in Loss by Reverend Shirley Knight. In this universe, we live in cycles. We see leaves fall and watch trees spring to life again. We watch what we care about come and go like tides on a beach. We're left with moments we remember, moments that are like glistening bubbles filled with awareness of music, sights, hugs, emotions, aromas, poignant memories that we cherish and honor resulting in the fullness of life. Now, grief helps us know we are alive. We are present and available for this human experience and we are connected in a web of relationships and concerns. No matter what departs, and no matter how much it hurts, and it will hurt to see it go, we exist on a foundation of love, within a space of nurturing, and in a fountain of support, and hopefully inspiration. We progress in compassion, wisdom, and grace, returning to balance, harmony, and peace. Today's affirmation is this, I allow infinite eternal presence to fill all aspects of my heart and mind, comforting me with the energy of love. May we serve you. Unity is always here to support you in creating a healthy, abundant, and meaningful life. Reach out to Silent Unity for personal prayer anytime, day or night, at unity.org slash prayer. You may also call Silent Unity at 816-969-2000. Inspirational Publications. Call 816-969-2069. Monday through Friday, 7.30 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. Central Time, or visit unity.org. Daily Word in regular, large type, and digital or Spanish. Unity Magazine, Books and Booklets. Unity Retreats and Events. Call 816-251-3540. Monday through Friday, 7.30 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. Central Time. Or visit unityvillage.org to see detailed information for workshops, retreats, and special events. They also have online resources, articles, prayers, meditation, news, and information at unity.org. Inspirational spiritual podcasts at unityonlineradio.org. Daily Word messages and related content at dailyword.com. Today's content is from Strength, Courage, and Comfort for Difficult Times by Unity Ministries. Comfort in a Coffee Shop by Rev. Rick Bayless, Ph.D. My wife had recently died of cancer and I was now the single parent of two daughters, one 13 and another 
just two years older. I was only half a year into being my, the minister at my first church, and I was many miles away from relatives and friends. I was filled with grief, fear, and many worries. There was intense grief over the loss of my wife, who was not only my lover, but my best friend. There were real fears that I would fail to meet my daughter's needs as a single parent. I also worried about meeting my new congregation's reasonable expectations. At times, these worries became so intense and unbearable that I felt like a drowning person after the ship was sunk to the bottom of the ocean. I did not see any way back to the surface. Now, one day, as I was driving and feeling this intense wave of anxieties just covering me, I saw a coffee shop. I pulled over, I parked, and went inside. There was an empty table, and I put my book bag down on it and got a mug of decaffeinated java. Now, taking out a notebook and pen, I started writing a letter to God. And I wrote about my intense grief and pain over my wife's passing. I poured out my fears and worries about being a single parent. Next, I wrote about my concern whether I could be a good minister for my new church. And I added financial concerns as well as worries I had about my own health. I also expressed the intense loneliness I felt being so far away from family and from friends. Then something deep inside me suggested I start listing my blessings and things I was grateful for. Now this list, this list was long. That still small voice also suggested that I write down a few affirmations that meant so much to me and I'd like to share them with you. I can do all things through him who strengthens me. Philippians 4.13 Cast all your anxiety on him because he cares for you. 1 Peter 5.7 There is only one presence and one power in the universe and in our lives. God, the good, omnipotent. Principle 1 taught in unity. I release my worries to spirit and know that all is in divine order. And that's my own affirmation. All of this came alive for me and I started to feel good. No, not just good, but great. I said to myself, are they putting something in the coffee these days? Then I remembered I had ordered a decaf. Yes, something had changed and it was, it was me. I was amazed. Nothing, absolutely nothing had changed in the outside world But something, something changed inside of me, and that made all the difference. In the following months, there were times when the fear and worry would start creeping back. So I would literally go back to the same coffee shop, order more java, and write another prayer letter to the Holy Spirit. This healing medicine kept working, and it still does to this day. just listening to Teachable Moments with April Podcast. I truly hope you enjoyed this episode. We invite you to stay connected with us on the other social media platforms of ours, which is TikTok, Pinterest, Instagram, Threads, and YouTube. Also, we'd like to invite you to check out our official podcast landing page on podpage.com slash teachable moments with April to see all our 